I am promising low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, secure borders, low, low, low crime, and surging incomes for citizens of every race, religion, color. President Trump wants to make the economy great again. The same can't be said for Kamala Harris. Economists from both sides of the aisle strongly now criticizing her plan to, quote, tax the rich. For more, I'm joined by the president of Strelmark, which is a business development consultant firm, Hillary Fordwich. Also with us is the director of the Sound Money Project at the American Institute for Economic Research, Will Luther. Ladies first, Hillary, let's start off with you. Democrats, I, I don't know why they always talk about let's tax the rich and they got to pay their fair share. And one of Kamala's crazy ideas is to roll out an unrealized capital gains tax. She says it'll only apply to the ultra wealthy, according to Kamala, of course. But here's the problem. This is how Americans were sold on income tax. It only applied to a small group of wealthy people. But before we knew it, all of us were then paying the steep consequences. And I don't understand all of this because you don't tax prosperity because then it leads to less prosperity. You just got to let the private sector do its thing. Hillary, what do you think of uh, Kamala's tax plan to, to have the rich pay their fair share? Well, pleasure to be back with you again, Lydia. You're absolutely right about that. The more you tax of anything, the less that you receive. And I remember many uh, segments ago, many times ago, you were talking about the taxes, the real estate taxes in your region um, rising, as they have in mine. And a very good question to ask Kamala's administration would be, well, um, if you're being taxed on unrealized gains, what about when the stock goes down? Do you get a rebate on those? We all know in real estate, your taxes go up when the appreciation on your house goes up, but you never get a rebate. The government always looks at the upside, doesn't look at the downside. We, the taxpayer, we're the ones taking the risk. People that invest are taking the risk. One thing you'll do, you'll drive investment out of the United States. Any capital gains raise will do so. You will also, when she talks about another thing that she, uh, tax that she wants to raise is um, corporate the corporate tax raise. The reason the corporate tax rate is 28% in the U.S., it's 12% in Ireland, and that's why there are 996 U.S. companies based in Ireland. They don't they go there because of the rain. We drive American companies away. And we lost 115,000 manufacturing jobs this past year. Two of the main reasons you lose jobs are when you have higher taxes and you have more regulations. Businesses simply choose to get up and go to other countries. Well, because it's going to, I, I'm seeing it uh, go viral on social media, people talking about this tax plan, like say if you're an elderly woman and you've held on to your home for 40 years and it's completely paid off, then she's got, I mean, you can't afford to pay the taxes on this and that, and then you end up losing the home because you can't pay the taxes on it, you can't sell. So, so break it down for me for people out there that say, I don't understand what they're talking about, unrealized gains and capital gains. What does this mean for the regular American who simply is just trying to, you know, pay their bills. Well, at least here at the outset, uh, you know, the regular Americans are not going to get hit by this tax. It's going to apply to the to the super rich. Um, but as we've seen with other taxes, as and as you've uh, noted, these taxes often spread to, to normal folks like you and I. Um, and so uh, at that point, it means that anytime your assets um, appreciate, uh, even if you don't sell those assets, even if you don't actually realize that gain, you're going to be hit with a, with a tax on that. Uh, and the, the real problem here um, to me is, is that it's ultimately going to be folks like you and I who are paying these taxes, because not only do you discourage people from doing the thing that is generating the tax, but you also encourage them to find creative ways around that tax. And for normal folks, that's just very expensive to do. It's the super rich who are going to find very creative structures to avoid this tax. And so we have to ask ourselves, do we want these very smart, very creative people, entrepreneurs in our society, spending their time and energy trying to get around the tax code? Or do we want them generating innovation, creating new and better ways of doing things that ultimately raise the standard of living in this country? Mm -hmm. And for me, I would much prefer a tax code that, that encourages them to uh, improve growth and development, not to try to circumvent tax laws.
This is such an important topic, but you know, we could do the whole, we should do a whole show on this actually. Yeah. But real quick before we go, I want to get a quick response from both of you. Harris, as we discussed, she's not stopping there with the unrealized and capital gains. Hillary, you mentioned this. She wants to raise a corporate tax rate to 28%. That's up uh, from Joe Biden's 21%. It's higher than China. Goldman Sachs claims it'll cut corporate profits by 5%. Real quick, what does this mean for anyone with a 401k or money in the S&P 500? Uh, Hillary, you first and then Will. Well, it means, Lydia, that when on paper, when you haven't taken any money out, you haven't been able to spend it, you haven't been able to do anything with it, on paper, it's increased. That means you will pay a high amount of taxes. But as I mentioned earlier, like, what about when the stock market plummets? Do you get a refund from the government? I highly doubt so. That is not part of her policy. And if I may make a quick point, she's hiding Harris because her policies have failed in California. She cannot be questioned on them because unlike track record Trump, she cannot run on what she's done to California because the country doesn't want to be like California. Well, quick response from you. Well, I think these are really growth destroying taxes. Right. Um, we want to encourage innovation. We want to encourage development. And these taxes do the opposite. We're very lucky here to have deep financial markets. If you're an entrepreneur and you have a great idea, you can find someone to fund that either by taking on some debt or uh, issuing some equity. And if you have these really high capital gains taxes, you risk causing some of that funding to dry up. And so then we get less innovation, less economic growth. And that doesn't just affect the folks who uh, have 401ks right. or uh, big stock positions. It affects every single right. American. That's slow growth, not good for any of us. What did Margaret Thatcher famously said? Socialism is great until you run out of other people's money. Will Luther. Spending other people's money, yes. Hil Hillary Ford. Well done. It's just unbelievable how clueless you think we'd learn from history. Thank you so much for joining us.